Welcome back to another vlog. We are so excited because today we are in Luxor in Egypt and we're just waiting outside our Airbnb to get picked up to go on a guided street food tour. Food tours have quickly become one of our favorite ways to experience new countries. Today we're going to be trying koshri, which is the Egyptian's national dish, as well as falafels and kebabs and several different local juices. And we are excited to see what else that our host might have planned for us today. Ferry ride over to the east side. I'm gonna go start walking around trying to find some food. Nescafe, we okay. have some sugar here if you want to add. You should start with the falafel before it gets uh, cold. Okay. This is the real falafel, not the American falafel or the falafel in Cairo. This is the real falafel. Made completely out of dusted fava beans. It has some greeny vegetables and fruits, uh, the greeny vegetables and spices that makes it crispy from the outside and greeny from the inside. Of course, you know chicken shawarma. It has some uh, uh, cooked vegetables as well, uh, green pepper and tomatoes and onions. Uh, kofta is beef, kofta is beef. The green salads, uh, some appetizers here, eggplants and uh, mm. Mm. fried eggplants and uh, salted eggplants. It's whenever you feel yourself like you're full, you take a bite, it opens your appetite again. Okay. Of course, we have some bread here and the main dish is koshery. Koshery? Koshery has other side uh, sauce, sauces like cooked tomato sauce. Um, vinegar with garlic sauce okay. and hot chili sauce. So. This is very hot, so please, mm. if you're gonna eat this, Be careful. just try it first. He likes see how spicy. much you would like to, to get. It's, it's very hot, all right? All right, so we were just brought out so much food. I was feeling super hungry coming into this, and I'm still super hungry, but there is a lot of food that we have to eat. So we're gonna get started. We actually started with the falafels. So we actually had some falafel while we're in Cairo, but these falafels here are honestly so much better. The other one was served inside of like a pita bread. This one was just served strictly as the falafel, and I think that makes it even better just because you get like just the falafel taste. Next is the koshery, which which is the national dish. It's a bunch of different Iranian ingredients all mixed together here. We've got chickpeas, rice. We also have a kofti, which is beef, an easy on the go snack. It looks kind of like a hot dog, but it's basically beef on a hot dog bun. We'll try that as well. And then there's a lot of different toppings like chili sauce, lemons, pita bread tomato sauce, so lots of different options. So we do have the tomato sauce as well as the vinegar and the chili sauce to put on our koshri. I am going to start with the tomato sauce. So he was saying that this is a very popular street food that like kids will grab it on their way back from school or people will get it during their lunch break. But this is like one of the more popular street dishes here in Egypt. And honestly, it kind of reminds me like a KFC bowl where like in America, you put like popcorn chicken, potatoes, gravy, corn, just like a bunch of like kind of random things, put it together and just taste delicious. So down at the bottom of this bowl, there's like a lot of macaroni and some spaghetti. This is a very filling dish, so I see why it's so popular for any like workers during the day just to grab and eat during their lunch break because this would definitely fill you up for a good part of the day. So I started off eating this Egyptian national dish like an American. I feel a little bad about that, so I'm gonna try and eat it more like a local. So what they do is they use like a pita bread to kind of scoop up the kosher rather than using like a spoon or a fork like what we would do back in America. We'll see how this goes. Not well so far. Got a nice little pinch there. The pita bread with this is so good. Honestly, the pita bread is so good, which makes eating it with this koshery so, so good. Now I'm trying a kofta. Mm. 
The meat is really good. And then I've got a chicken shawarma with chicken. And then I've got two kinds of peppers. We've got red peppers, green peppers, tomatoes. Really delicious. I love the spices in it. Absolutely delicious. Already getting full. It's called El Mahata Street, means a train station street because the train station is there. room for dessert. This is amazing. And it's right next to the train station. So as soon as you hop off the train station, you can get yourself a little sweet treat. Anything and everything is blended in a one sandwich. Here you're gonna eat it, okay? If you sense your blight, this is true. So you're gonna eat this one, right? No, no choice. No choice. No choice. So they're saying this little concoction is everything from a cow. The stomach, the intestines, literally everything from the cow is in this little sandwich. And I don't have a choice about trying it. How much do you wish we had just stopped at the bakery? or 60% or eat it all. Wow. 30% or 40% doesn't really continue the, or finish it. But like, that. I'll be part of that 30%. I'll own it. <laughs> <laughs> so he just explained that this bread right here is actually one of the oldest made breads here in Egypt. And it's actually baked underneath the sun. So they call it sun bread. Because we are so full after that delicious everything cow sandwich, we're just gonna bring this bread home to have for breakfast tomorrow morning.
Next we are at the market where all the fresh produce and all the fresh food is sold. We walked over here from the pastry shop. All the produce looks incredible and our guide is putting together a bag of locally grown produce for us. And we're just walking through the streets looking at all the food that is sold here. It's really incredible. Just walking around in and of itself is an experience. so good. It's so cold and refreshing. Wow. I hope you guys like it. Welcome, Queen. Thank you. So we just got back to our stay after walking around the city for three hours with our tour guide and tasting a lot of different foods. So we started with a big traditional spread at the restaurant and then we walked to a pastry shop called Twinkies Pastry Shop where he ordered us this entire box of goodies. We leave tomorrow and I have no idea how we will finish this before then. It's all oriental pastries and they all look so decadent. I can't even imagine finishing this before we leave. And then next we headed down to that street, which is a traditional market. He said every Tuesday, the locals bring their fresh fruits as well as livestock in to sell at the market. He said that you can barely even find a space to walk down the street on Tuesday mornings because it is so full. It's kind of like the farmer's market day of the week. And then after that, he took us to a juice shop where we got to press the sugar cane. We got to have fresh juice juice which felt so good on a warm toasty afternoon and then we walked back to the boat took it across the Nile to come back to our stay we also got to learn more about the history not only of the area but also of the ancient Egyptians that was really interesting to actually talk to a local who's lived here his whole life and get an insight into the culture and the different things that we've experienced while we're here if you like this video make sure to check out our Cairo video as well as our Luxor day trip video again Again, we love to try foods to get a more in-depth look at the culture. So if you like this, make sure to follow along as we head to a new country here in the Middle East. So stay tuned for that.